back. Forensics case number 10, wiping the scene clean. Welcome to another season of Forensics, where we ask the question, how much of what you see on TV is real when it comes to forensic science? Well, according to television and movies, you can pretty much get away with anything as long as you wipe the scene clean. Now, criminals are often depicted wiping their fingerprints from a weapon and getting away with a crime free and clear. But is it really that simple? Well, the answer's a little bit more complicated than that. In some cases, yes, wiping down a surface could destroy or smear a latent print, making it difficult but not necessarily impossible to recover. If the surface was wiped down, odds are a partial print was left behind in an area the suspect didn't even realize was touched. Let's look at a gun, for example. Fingerprints can be found on more places than just the grip or trigger. Bullets, cartridges, and shell casings can also contain valuable evidence. Firing a gun may leave behind powder residue on hands and clothes, and every gun is manufactured with a serial number that can be traced. Also keep in mind that fingerprints aren't the only clues looked for at a crime scene. DNA can be left on items that were touched, and even a cloth used to try to wipe evidence can leave fibers behind. So wiping away evidence can create more evidence, actually. The point is there's always more to a crime scene than surface evidence that can be wiped away. Simply wiping down a surface that's been touched doesn't mean all evidence is gone. It just makes finding it a little bit more difficult. Difficult, but not impossible, if you know where else to look. Odds are, that evidence will be found sooner or later. There's so many variables with this one, so we'll throw it into the glass half faux category. <laughs> So when it comes to evidence, you can't just simply pull out a cloth and wipe the scene clean. That's forensics.